When I was waiting on my test results, I was afraid. I was scared. Everybody just started praying. I had so many people praying for me. This hearing challenge was huge for me, and I, I knew something had to be done. We're living in a 500 square foot camper. My family's growing, and we prayed specifically for needs, not really wants. It just seems at this point, it's impossible. My name is Portia McGee, and I've been going to Pine Lake for five years. My name is Tony Russell, and I've been going to Pine Lake for five years. My name is Kim York, and I have been going to Pine Lake for six years now. I'm a small group leader in the kids' ministry. About five years ago, I had been diagnosed with mild to moderate hearing loss. Me, my wife, and my son were living in a camper on the reservoir. My wife tells me she's pregnant. This is not a good time to be in a camper. It's not big enough. We need more space. So we decided to start trying to find a house. So I went in for my yearly exam. I wasn't too concerned. Um, the years prior, they hadn't found anything. With my hearing loss, I was managing pretty well. But more recently, I was having to ask the kids to repeat themselves. And I'd let the kids know, hey, Miss Portia has a hearing problem here. The nurse came in, said the radiologist had seen something concerning on the scan and wanted to do some more tests. We're living in a 500 square foot camper. My family's growing. Every time we try to bid on a house, we're getting outbid. I was scared. We have a family history of cancer. My aunt died of breast cancer. My dad died of cancer, so I was pretty frightened. And it was beginning to be more frustrating to me so much that I thought, all right, maybe I don't need to serve next year. I won't commit to serving anymore in the kids' ministry. And he did confirm that it was breast cancer. That I'm done. I'm just done. After praying all these specific prayers, it just seems like it's going to be impossible. I just knew that God wasn't through with me in spite of my age, and yet, this hearing challenge was huge for me, and I, I knew something had to be done. So I felt led to reach out for elder prayer. All along the way, my wife and I had been praying very specific prayers. One morning, stumbled upon this one particular house that we just loved and thought, hey, let's, let's schedule to go see it. Started praying and I called all, all my prayer warriors that I know. It was almost like a, a chain of prayer, basically. Everybody just started praying. I had so many people praying for me. While the elders were praying for me, and, and even when they were through, it was like I didn't have any sensation at all. However, on my way home, I had a strong sensation in both ears that I'd never felt before, and I believed that God was then at work. So we put an offer on the house, and I started getting a little anxious, and I remembered the verses in God's Word about being anxious, and so I gave it to God, and a few seconds later, I got a text message. Even though I wasn't scheduled for a hearing test for another year. I thought, I'm going to make one. So two weeks later, I saw my audiologist and had such great news. So I had the surgery, and during the surgery, they run a test to see um, your level of, to test your level of reoccurrence. Mine came back at zero, which means I have less than 1% chance of reoccurrence. My realtor messaged me and said that they took the offer. A year ago, my understanding and hearing in my right ear was 88%. But then, after the prayer, it went up to 96%. Hearing doesn't improve like that, especially when you get to my age, without it being a miracle. I did not have to go through any chemo, no radiation. I had this overwhelming peace come over me and to the point where I didn't want to tell my wife just yet because I was just so in the moment of 
praising God. So now I can continue to serve and know that that for sure is what the Lord wants me to do. I have no doubt that God healed me and I will continue to seek Him daily because He is a God who answers prayers. This house is proof that in the middle of impossible circumstances, God will meet our every need when we pray.